Hello gamers and welcome back to Age of Empires 4 on my channel and uh, yeah it's time to continue the campaigns and the next campaign is the Mongol Empire 1223 Kalka River the Battle of the Kalka River shock and awe in 1223 the Mongol army made a thunderous arrival in the west they would test their tactics and flex their bite against an unsuspecting new enemy the Rus which will be the last campaign with the Rus campaign. Also, in the meantime, I've completed the Holy Roman Empire stuff, the masteries. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, but here we go with the with the campaign. From the vast reaches of the Mongolian steppe, an army of over 100,000 men swept aside all resistance, claiming territories that spanned continents. Their leader Genghis Khan proclaimed his life's ambition was to unite the world under one empire. Having conquered the East, the Mongols turned their attention to the west, where they would come face to face with some of the greatest armies of medieval Europe. Would Genghis Khan's legendary warriors finally meet their match? By 1221, the Mongols had taken cities throughout Asia, generating vast amounts of tribute from those they conquered. The West, however, was still an untapped resource. Genghis Khan sent his trusted generals, Jebe and Subutai, to attack Europe. With an army of 20,000, Jebe and Subutai took the West by surprise raiding cities and destroying armies within two years they had the prosperous Rus territories in their sights but in their way was a Rus army of over 40,000 men outnumbered Jebe and Subutai turned and started to head back east the Rus sensed an easy victory and set off in pursuit of their retreating enemies. Oh, really nice. Good stuff. For eight days, the fast-moving Mongols stayed just out of reach. Then, Jebe and Subutai set their trap. They lured the Rus across the Kalka River and turned to fight. The Rus had fallen for one of the Mongols' most effective tactics, the feigned retreat. The stage was set for the Mongol army to test themselves against Europe's finest. The Battle of, the Battle of the Kalka River. This is so cool. I really enjoy the documentary style and you learn a lot. I think this is the first game where you truly learn something about history, not just, you know, get inspired, like with Civilization, for example. Um, but, you know, it's actually a documentary. And with the Mongols and the Rus, it's two factions that we haven't played before. I um, have never played the Mongols so far. And the Rus I played a couple of times in, in Skirmish. They are pretty cool with their tower and the warrior monks. But the Mongols also play uh, apparently completely different. And you need to move your base around and stuff. The Mongols charged across the European plains with the fatigued Rus army in close pursuit. The Rus had fallen for the Mongol tactic of the feigned retreat and unknowingly followed them into peril. Mm. 
Nice. The Mongol general sprung his trap on the enemy scouts. With the Rus scouts cut down, General Subutai crossed the Kalka River. There are only very few enemy scouts. I mean, they Here, could have taken care of them. Stage of full-scale ambush on the vast Rus army. We've got a tower as well. Nice. So we have Super a hero directed his warriors to split up and lie in wait for the enemy. Move some units to the western front. That would be here. And move some to the eastern front. That would be you guys. Move some units into the central woods. Which are here. And by some they mean more, apparently. So let's do move some more units. Honda Hoktuda. And maybe you guys can move back a little bit. What's your specialty? For Subutai's strategy Maneuver to be arrow. effective, he needed to spring his trap before the Rus recovered from their long pursuit. Use some units to lure the Rus over the river. He sent his most fearsome Mangodai horse archers to draw the Rus quickly towards the ambush site. Do I have Mangodai horse archers here somewhere? His highly yes. skilled warriors could fire their bows rapidly while riding at speed. And our guy can speed them up even further. Increases reload speed or increase movement speed. Let's increase the movement speed, obviously. Ooh, nice, they move while shooting. And the ruse hastily pursued. And they continue shooting apparently when I move. The ruse army had fallen for the feigned retreat and rode straight into the Mongol ambush. Which means we can attack the from the sides. Subutai's battle-ready warriors descended from all sides. Yeah, then let's them descend. Come on, kill them. Everyone is fighting. Okay, I will lose in the north, apparently. You need to attack these archers. But I think it's looking rather good. Leaders in grave danger. Okay, he's been injured. We need to rescue him. Maybe I've lost an achievement now or something. I don't. Um, I don't mind that much. 
and Roos' numbers were reduced to a few desperate stragglers. Seeing the fate of their comrades, the last Roos encircled themselves in a makeshift fort of baggage carts. Okay, we need to eliminate all the incoming Roos. We did that. Oh, shite. We now have to attack with the remaining units, I fear. And that's not that many. So you get number three, you get number four. Let's move. There's gold. Let's use the mango die first. Okay, they already attack. just the time I think I've activated that for skirmish and stuff and um, so that you have an idea when you level up or when you have to go up the ages so this leader I've got he's mainly there to support the ranged units Let's actually go for fast shooting this time immediately. Tech speed arrow. There's still quite a few rules. Now let's engage them and then circle them. I think there will be more inside. We will see. Yeah, there they are. But it's archers. Oh, it's not only archers. mop them up we've destroyed the roos we get some gold and stuff nice i think i might need to turn the on the volume up it or sh fell. should be okay despite a valiant last stand the remnants of the roos army were cut down very good Spurred on by the crushing victory at the Kalka River, the Mongols advanced ever further into the heartland of the Rus. Well, this concludes the first mission, which kind of introduced us to the units a little bit and mainly the Mankodai. Kalkarilla was the first test of Mongol warfare against the armies of the West. With the battle won, Europe seemed ripe for the taking. Some uh, content unlocked, shock and awe. That's the one we've seen. Drums and signal. Yeah, I continue playing on intermediate, you know, just to have a fun playthrough. And sometimes it's challenging anyway, and I'm new to the uh, units and stuff. Um, yeah, so... That's Kalka River. And next up will be the Great Wall. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.